Lindsay Lohan tweeted, It's official. Pregnant. It was supposed to be an April Fool's joke, but a lot of people believed it. While promoting ESPN's College Game Day, someone at the Home Depot posted a picture of a person in a monkey suit between two African-American drummers. Home Depot deleted the tweet, apologized for it. Hulk Hogan made a lot of people uncomfortable when he tweeted a pic of his own daughter's legs that was just a little too sexy. Nick Cannon maybe shared a little TMI about the way he disciplines. Actress Amanda Bynes tweeted about her new look, saying, Not having hair makes me feel like a cancer patient. She later tried to defend herself, saying she was referring to a horoscope sign, not the health problem. Alec Baldwin and his wife were attending the funeral of Sopranos star James Gandolfini. A reporter at the UK Daily Mail criticized his wife for allegedly tweeting during the funeral. Baldwin went on a Twitter rant against the reporter, defending his wife, saying, I'm going to find you, George Stark, you toxic little queen, and I'm going to F you up. Baldwin later apologized. People were outraged when satirical website The Onion called Oscar nominee Quavengene Willis the C-word. She was only nine years old at the time. The CEO of The Onion later apologized via Facebook. Joe Fitzgibbon tweeting, Losing a football game sucks. Losing to a desert racist wasteland sucks a lot. Yeah, some folks in Arizona and beyond not too happy with that tweet. Comedian Steve Martin tweeted out a joke that many of his followers immediately slammed as racist. Martin quickly deleted the tweet, issued an apology statement. An offensive tweet has caused a PR executive her job while sending shockwaves around the world. And I mean that literally. Justine Sacco joined, joked about AIDS while traveling to Africa. You can read the tweet um, on your screen there. She has since apologized, saying that she's sorry and ashamed of her quote. Needless and careless tweet. 